Uh, hey guys, so today we are diving into something really exciting, uh, building intelligent agentic workflows that can think, decide and act autonomously. Uh, so we'll explore how to create a system that uh, that can intelligently route queries between your custom knowledge base and uh, real time web search. So let's get started. Um, so first of all, let's understand what is uh, what is agentic workflow, right? So think of it as an AI system that doesn't just respond to prompts, uh, but actually acts like uh, an intelligent agent um, that can uh, analyze incoming requests from the user, uh, make decisions about uh, what tool to use uh, to complete this task and uh, execute multiple steps autonomously and uh, adapt its approach based on the situation, right? So instead of simple input output model um, using an LLM, um, agentic workflows create AI systems that can reason, plan, and take action. Uh, just like having a smart assistant that knows when to check your internal documents versus uh, searching the web for the latest information. So why do we need agentic workflows, by the way, right? So uh, traditional uh, AI applications are pretty limited with their knowledge cutoff date and uh, the LLMs will have knowledge cutoff date and they can't retrieve the real time information and that's where they fail. That's where they fail. And so uh, these uh, traditional AI applications follow a linear path. You ask a query and then they just respond with the prefeded uh, knowledge that they have. But real world problems are complex and uh, sometimes you need to check multiple data sources to make sure the response is, um, is correct and make decisions based on the context and combine information from different sources and places and handle both known and unknown information. And that is where agentic workflows shine and they can intelligently decide, should I look into our internal document uh, knowledge base or should I go outside to the web and get the latest information? So this makes AI applications much more powerful uh, and practical rather than using your traditional chatbots or AI applications, right? So while building these agentic workflows, uh, there is one um, platform or a tool that stands out that is Langraph. So Langraph is a framework specially designed, specifically designed for building such intelligent uh, multi-step workflows. Um, and uh, uh, it basically lets you create workflows as graphs. So in this, um, um, in this Lang graph, nodes represent different actions and uh, edges represent the flow between, between them. So you can build complex um, decision trees, loops, and conditional paths uh, using Langraph. So most impo importantly, Langraph actually handles uh, state management automatically. Uh, so your agent can remember context uh, as it moves through different steps. Um, with Langraph, you can actually you know, build um, very smart agentic workflows. And uh, you're not just uh, chaining prompts together, uh, but you are building very intelligent systems and uh, that can actually think and adapt their uh, behavior based on the information and and uh, situation. So, and uh, the uh, in our tutorial today, uh, there is another uh, interesting tool or a platform that we are using that is Single Store um, as a vector database. Uh, so, Single Store started supporting vector storage long back in 2017 itself, and Single Store is considered one of the best databases out there. So, that's what we are doing uh, using to store our knowledge base, um, custom knowledge as vector embeddings. And uh, yeah, I mean, here is a simple workflow architecture, as you can see in the video. Um, when a user asks a question, our Langraph agent first analyzes and uh, then it makes a smart decision. Hey, uh, is it something I can answer from my internal knowledge base or do I need to go for the uh, web to search the proper information? So if it's about our existing knowledge, it's um, like company policies, uh, product details, or stored um, or stored documents, uh, it queries single store using vector search similarity method uh, to find the most relevant chunks um, and information. But if uh, the information is not there, uh, it basically goes through the system goes to the web search uh, to find the uh, latest data um, according to what the user has asked. So uh, the beautiful part here is the agent seamlessly combines information from both sources, uh, processes everything and gives you a 
comprehensive answer. So it's like having an assistant that knows uh, when to check your, um, you know, um, uh, internal documents and uh, when to go for the web search uh, if that part or that uh, that information is not present in the um, custom knowledge base. So uh, that's it. So we're going to see this practically in the tutorial that I'm going to show you. So let's see how this uh, basically works. Uh, hey guys, so here is the complete notebook code uh, for building agentic workflow with uh, LangGraph and single store database. Uh, so the notebook code uh, you see here is from uh, single store notebooks. Uh, so single store has this cool feature uh, where uh, you can basically use single store notebooks uh, to create these agentic workflows, create your AI applications and test and experiment. So once you sign up to single store, go to singlestore.com, sign up. So I have already uh, signed up and signed in. So once you sign up, I think uh, and sign in, this is where you will land. This is the single store dashboard. So create a workspace. Uh, if you don't have one, create a workspace and then create a database attached to your workspace. So I have already created my uh, database that is LangGraph. So yeah, I mean, now let's go to the notebook uh, environment. How to go there? Go to Data Studio. So once you go to Data Studio, you can actually go to new and then create a new notebook for yourself. Um, give it a name, make it shared or personal and then create. So I have already created my notebook uh, with all the code here. So once you go to your notebook, uh, select your workspace that you created and then select the attached uh, uh, database that you created, right? Because we need to store our knowledge base into our vector database, okay? Uh, so we selected our uh, workspace and database. So let's get started. Um, First of all, install the required packages. That's what we are doing. We are we want LangChain, LangGraph, and then single store. And also OpenAI. So we are doing that. And we are importing the libraries. Uh, and then we are setting the credentials. Uh, so we are setting OpenAI API key, uh, single, single store DB URL, uh, admin password, single store uh, host URL, and then this is the uh, default port and then your db name db name uh, you just selected here right you can uh, share mention the name thing langgraph and also tavli api key so tavli is an um, a search api for llms uh, so that's what we are using here so next is a uh, url content loader so we are loading uh, the content from some urls uh, that is wikipedia content right so these are the U urls we are loading the the wiki page about uh, large language models and uh, wiki page for retrieval augmented generation you can uh, load more urls uh, not just from wikipedia for from anywhere else uh, so we loaded the urls and after loading the urls the content now it's time to split the content split the documents right so we did that and then let's initialize our single store vector store to share to you know store all these vector embeddings or chunks so that's what we did um, storing documents into our single store uh, database and then by the way we need to create a table name the table name here is agent knowledge base so you can change it accordingly because just you can't just keep the uh, data uh, in your database you so you need to have a table name inside your database so that's what we created here and then the distance strategy is dot product uh, and then uh, this is the web search tool that we are building uh, using LangGraph. so uh, if the knowledge base if, if if the user asks a query if that uh, if the answer is not present in our knowledge base it should basically go to the web search uh, to find the information so that's why we are creating web search tool here and uh, now let's build a rack chain right uh, so that's what we are building the model we are using is gpt 3.5 turbo you can change it uh, so we are giving some prompt this is the template right answer the question using any of these sources so and then we are defining the state structure uh, using the lang graph uh, right and then we are creating graph nodes uh, uh, that's how basically lang graph works uh, with the uh, <clears throat> Uh, agent state and uh, retrieve node and all those things so we created that and then le now let's build the agent workflow right so 
we are building that using again the um, uh, lang graph uh, so we are adding nodes and uh, basically um, setting the connections and uh, compiling the agent so now we built the agent workflow and then now let's run the agent uh, with multiple queries so the query is like uh, what is large language model and uh, what are the latest ai developments announced uh, this month so we know that uh, we have loaded this url about large language models right so this answer you, it can easily fetch from the knowledge base right but this one for this one it should go to the uh, web search to find the latest ai developments right so let's see how how the workflow goes so it asks the question goes like what is the la large language model that's our first question and uh, retrieving documents for what is the large language model what is a large language model so generating answer so easy to find the answer for the workflow it will go to the source and uh, the inside source the knowledge base that's already present in our vector database and it is finding the answer and next the question is what are the latest ei developments announced in this month so like i said this information uh, the answer to this question is not present in our vector database right so it goes through the documents for what are the latest ad developments announced this month and uh, since it doesn't find any you know contextually relevant answer there chunk or the content there it goes through the web so searching for the web so automatically it gets directed to the web uh, so it goes like what are the latest ad developments announced this month so it generates the answer that way it answers the latest ad developments announced this month include google's announcement of image in for the latest version of its ai uh, text to image generator blah 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 and all those things again like let's ask another question which is uh, uh, the answer uh, is not present in our uh, ask some question uh, the response should not be present in our knowledge base right so what's what is nvidia's latest contribution to um, llms right uh, again it is going to retrieve the documents but that answer or the context is not present there in our knowledge base so it goes through the web search um, and then finds like what is the in nvidia's latest contribution to llms and it finds the answer from web and gets back the answer nvidia's latest contribution to llms is the introduction of nvlm 1.0 family of frontier class multimodal llms again i asked some question just to just so i was playing with it and asked what is microsoft's latest ci news in june 2025 and it found <laughs> this uh, thing like uh, the latest uh, announced announcement of microsoft 365 copilot tuning multi agent orchestration and more in the microsoft build 2025 event so um, you can actually add more tools to this workflow and build your own agent tech uh, workflows which are powerful and uh, uh, amazingly uh, you can build amazingly uh, intelligent systems uh, amazing intelligent systems so that's it for today i hope you understood i'm going to share the link of this code repo in the description of the uh, of the video and so that you can go and try it out for yourself thanks